The William W. Backus Hospital in Norwich is home to Eastern Connecticut's premier minimally invasive surgical program, offering the most advanced procedures from robotics to orthopedics. Experience the Backus difference today. At this point, I'd like to welcome to the stage, we already have, but our newly elected members of the City Council. And as I mentioned, that, uh, from a formality, they did open the council meeting down at uh, City Council Chambers per the charter. So they did recess, and they are here. And I'd like to call forward Council Wade A. Heislip, Jr. to reconvene the meeting. And then I know from that portion the swearing in of the uh, members of the council. Wade. At this time, the New London City Council will reconvene its meeting of December 5th that was open at 7 p.m. at City Hall. The first order of business is the, to administrate the oath of office to Council Hyslop, and I'd like to call forward his beautiful bride, Mrs. Jessie Hyslop, to administer the oath. Reverend Wade Asbury Heislop Jr. Having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London, do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office according to your best skills and judgment? So help you God. I do. I love you, man. Wait. At this time, we will ask that uh, Councillor Donald Macrino come to the mic, and Secretary of State Denise Merrill will. Hi. And your wife's supposed to hold the Bible? Is she here? Patricia. Patricia Macrino. Do we have a Bible? She has. <laughs> Donald Macrino, having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London, do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office according to your best skill and judgment, so help you God? I do. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I would call forward John J. Maynard, who will be administered the oath of office by Ms. Evelyn Logiotis. <laughs> I want to try, John. You do your best, honey. Would you raise your right hand, please? Do you, John J. Maynard, having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London, do you swear or affirm that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office according to your best skill and judgment? So Absolutely. help you God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Congratulations. <laughs> Marie Fries McFerrin, and she would be administered the oath by Ms. Michelle Allen. <laughs> Marie Fries McFerrin, having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London, do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of this office according to your best skill and judgment? So help you God. I do. Anthony L. Nolan will be administered the oath by the Secretary of State, Denise Merrill. And the Bible will be held by Mrs. Nolan. You'll raise your right hand. Anthony L. Nolan, having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London. Do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office 
according to your best skill and judgment, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Michael E. Passero, and the oath would be administered by Ms. Mary Menton. Michael, Michael Passero, having been chosen city councilor for the city of New London, do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office according to your best skill and judgment? So help you God. I will. Last but not least, Adam Spigacci, who will be administered in the oath of office by his wife, Mrs. Jean Spigacci. Your right hand. Adam Spigacci, having been chosen city councilor of the city of New London, do you swear that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office according to your best skill and judgment to help you, God? I do. Thank you. In the first order of business for the council is election of a council president, Councillor Fries McFerrin. Good evening. Tonight we make history in New London. The role and power of the city council has changed. The New London City Council, as the legislative body of our local government, acts as the point and check of, and balance for the governing of our city. We have a great responsibility to New London and to the people that elected us to serve them. The City Council President will lead the Council and must be someone with demonstrated leadership skills, a proven commitment to the entire community, and a record of public service. Over the years, I have witnessed firsthand the commitment to New London by Michael Passero. Michael is a lifelong resident of New London. He was a lifeguard at Ocean Beach. He is a New London firefighter, a labor attorney, and a veteran City Council. You do not have to look far to see how deeply involved in the city of New London Michael Passero is. For this and far too many reasons to list, it is an honor for me to place into nomination for the president of the City Council of New London the name of Mr. Michael Passero. Thank you. Is there a second? It's been moved improperly second. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? It's been moved and properly seconded that the nominations be closed. We call for the vote on Michael Passero for president of the city council. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Michael Passero has been duly elected. Oath, by the way, from 1784. A lot of history here. You, Michael Passero, being elected president of the City Council for the City of New London, do swear by the name of the everlasting God that you will faithfully and uprightly discharge the duties of that office so long as you shall hold the same, so help you God. I will. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Michael's, uh, the president, excuse me, president, uh, Pastoral's wife, Mary, to come and present him with his gavel. Hit Our ceremony. I need the plaque for it. I'd like to call. I'd like to call the last ceremonial mayor of the city of New London up to the podium for a presentation. 
Martin T. Olson. I've had the privilege of being friends with Marty for over 40 years. We actually sat on a lifeguard tower together. <laughs> and it's been an honor to serve with him for the last two years. And Marty, as a token of our appreciation, you get the traditional gift, the um, gavel mounted on the board. <laughs> Like Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It's been indeed an, an honor and a privilege to serve the city of New London as the last ceremonial mayor. Thank you very much. Now, under the new charter, we've replaced the deputy mayor with a council president pro tem, and I'll entertain motions now for Council President Pro Tem. Councillor Maynard. Thank you, Mr. President. It gives me great pleasure, a man I've known my whole life, <laughs> to uh, nominate for Pro Tem President Reverend Mr. Wade A. Hyslop. Do I have a second for that nomination? Seconded by Councillor Macrino. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? I move that nominations has been a move, uh, a motion to close nominations. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Councillor Noland. Nominations have been closed. I'll call for a vote on the nomination of Wade A. Hyslop Jr. as President Pro Tem of the Council. All in favor? Any opposed? Yes. I declare Wade A. Heislip, President Pro Tem of the Council. Would Jesse Heislip please come forward to present the gavel to the President Pro Tem? Oh, I'm sorry. We have to swear the President in first. You've got to swear some more. Got to swear again. <laughs> And by the way, we served together in the General <laughs> Assembly for many years, yes, so it is my honor to be here today with Wade. So, you, Wade A. Hyslop, Jr., being duly elected Council President Pro Tem for the City Council for the City of New London, do swear by the name of the everlasting God that you will faithfully and uprightly discharge the duties of that office so long as you shall hold the same, so help you God. I will. Great. Thank you. Mrs. Jesse Heislip, would you please come forward to the podium and present the Council President Pro Tem with his gavel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is fitting that tonight we gather in this historic theater for the installation of this new government. This building and the mission of this performing arts center that supports it have succeeded by forging crucial alliances within our community. The splendor of this 90-year-old theater has been preserved through a successful collaboration between business, the arts, education, and philanthropy. That strategic alliance has made the institution relevant today and has provided the resources to preserve this piece of our city's history. The success of our new government will also depend upon preserving our rich traditions while making our institutions responsive to the challenges of today. Our success depends on the quality of the alliances we build with our partners in the community. 
Our city will never succeed by following the dictates of one person or one faction. Our success has come when we found consensus within our diverse community. Conversely, our failures have come when we push forward with initiatives that were opposed by significant segments of our community. As we conceive this new government, we must pledge to embrace our diversity and strive always to build consensus. The English settlement from which this city grew was founded more than 350 years ago. Since its founding, this community has gone through many different governments, through good economies and bad, through war that brought destruction to these very streets, and through furious natural storms that wrecked havoc on our neighborhoods. This city has persevered through the, through the bad times and has, I'm sorry, the city has persevered through the bad times and has been successful in the good. I am confident that this new government we herald in today brings a new era of prosperity to our glorious city. Viva New London. Thank you. We have one last piece of uh, council business before we adjourn. Um, it's traditional that, we, that the president announces the chairman of each of the council committees. The administration committee will be chaired by Councillor Maynard. Economic development will be chaired by Councillor Spricacci. Education, parks and recreation will be chaired by Councillor Noland. Finance by myself. Public safety by President Pro Tem Heislip. Public Welfare by Councillor Fries McSparren and Public Works by Councillor Macrino. I'll entertain a motion to recess. Your Honor, I move that we recess the meeting until Tuesday, December 6th at 7 p.m. Second. All in favor of recessing? Aye. Any opposed? The meeting of the City Council is hereby recessed.